Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unsung Heroes of Hollywood. Today we're talking about John Carroll Lynch. Now I've been a big, big, big fan of his since the late 90s when I was like a little kid. I've loved Fargo for a long time. That was my first introduction to him. And uh, he's a scene stealer and, and every scene he's in, he doesn't have a big part, but every time he's on screen, he's the one that you're watching. But what was uh, your your introduction to John Carroll Lynch? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I've seen him in the past. He's in, he's in like every movie ever made. Yeah, he's in uh, a ton of movies. Yeah, he, he might be in there for 30 seconds or so, but he's you you know the guy when you see him. I would say maybe Ted 2, really. <laughs> okay. or I, I think he might have been the first Ted. So a recent one. Yeah, uh, well, isn't he the boss? Yeah. Like at the grocery store that hires Ted? Yeah. I thought he was pretty funny there. I always he liked is. his scenes there. And then he was in The Walking Dead for a little bit, or like one episode. One ep- but it was a good episode. Yeah. It was interesting. Some of his past performances are Volcano, Face Off, Gone in 60 Seconds, Bubble Boy, Bug, Gothica, Carnival, Zodiac, American Horror Story. He was in The Clown season with the creepy oh, okay, smiley yeah. Face. Um, the Walking Dead, Grand Torino, Shutter Island, Crazy Stupid Love, The Americans, The Invitation, Fargo, like I said. And he's great in all of them. Like yeah. I said, he's a scene stealer. He's uh, had a great career, too. He's worked with directors like Martin Scorsese, David Fincher, the Coen brothers, Clint Eastwood. So he's worked with some of the most prominent directors today. Yeah. You know, it makes sense because he is such a great actor. So even if the public doesn't know his name... You know, these directors and and people in Hollywood definitely know who he is. He's been nominated for a Gold Derby and a Saturn Award. That's it. He's never been nominated for anything else, which is really sad because he's a very, very good actor. What's a Gold Derby? I have no idea. I've never heard Hmm. of either of those. For this show, I guess so. Yeah, Yeah, to wear a gold (laughs) imagine. Yeah. You can say your favorite performances. I'm going to say, I'm going to stick with Ted too because I thought it was funny in that. He's instantly likable. Yeah. Doesn't matter what scene he's in, you just like the guy. He, and he has such a range. He could yeah. be super, super intimidating and terrifying. And then he could be like this big, warm teddy bear. Right. Like he could he could really play anything. My favorite performances of his are Zodiac. Have you seen Zodiac? No. Put that on the very top of your like watch list. I'll do it right now. But there's a scene where um, he's a suspect. And okay. you don't know if he, he's done it or not. But watching him in this scene, he is just so creepy. Just like it's it, – have you seen Inglorious Bastards? Yeah. You know, Christoph Waltz went in the very first scene when he's sitting at the table talking to this guy and he's like having milk and smoking his pipe, yeah. but it's so quiet and you're just watching his face and he's being friendly, but he's terrifying at the same right. time. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it it's exactly like that. He's really creepy and subtle in that. And he was actually David Venture's first choice for the role after he saw him in Gothica. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. And then my other favorite performance of his is American Horror Story. But he was so scary on it. He's this absolutely brutal killer clown mm-hmm. you don't see any of him in that in that role i didn't even realize it was him until i looked it up because i was so scared of that character i was like who is playing that and i looked it up i was like oh figures because yeah. you know, they're doing a great job it's kind of like michael myers where yeah. it's like there's almost no soul there but he brought a humanness to the character as well so you actually feel for him at times even though he's doing these terrible things which is really tough to do with a character like that those are our favorite performances of his so definitely go check him out zodiac american horror story Ted 2 and The Walking Dead. And Ted 2 is actually really good. I liked it better than the first one. As per usual, you can read his oh, upcoming cool, yeah. films, these two. Uh, the Founder, looks really January good. 20th, yep. the story of uh, McDonald's Founder. That does look really good. I'm very excited to see it. White Orchard, sometime in 2017. A shy investigator assumes the identity of a small-town murder victim in order to solve her gruesome death. Also stars Olivia Thrillby. Yeah. Be sure to go check out a lot of John Carroll Lynch's movies because you, I'm sure you've seen them before. But, you know, go go actually study his work and, and watch him in all of these different types of performances and see his range and how good he really is because he definitely doesn't get the recognition he deserves. If you can think of any actors, directors, screenwriters, anyone else that's in the film industry that you think doesn't get the recognition they deserve, then let us know in the comments section or in a message or in an email. If we pick one of the people that you suggest, then we'll give you a shout out in that episode. Thanks for watching this episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media accounts. Until next time. I'm Jordan Ross. And I'm Michael Zavala. See ya.